Dathomir, liberated. Right attack. Hit in the west, lost. By Farah, lost. The large combat droids of the Black Sun are a massive problem. Our infantry can't handle them without heavy support, and that's slow going. The vehicle factories are working overtime to fill the orders, but they need more time. Time we don't have. I just heard this morning the Empire sent a fleet for our tactic in the west. The world itself isn't that big of a deal. What's near it is. Two of our main R&D facilities are located just a short FTL from the world. It's the only tactical advantage they could gain from this move, meaning as their target. With two of our fleets currently held up fighting in worlds around Mandalore, like our invasion of Dathomir, which by the way was a victory, we can't spare the ships to reinforce the southwest. The invasion of Thyfair was a gamble, one we lost. The casualty numbers are still coming in. We have to abandon the world for now. The blockading fleet needs to make best speed and save those engineers and scientists before the Empire has a chance to strike deeper into the back line. We can't afford to lose those stations. This is Captain Shack. out. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shaq here, and welcome uh, back to Empire War Forces of Corruption, playing the fantastic mod Awakening of the Rebellion. We're back into the campaign. Oh, look at the galaxy. I love it. We own so much of the Eastern Front, and then I just having Corsac out of the way is great. But the last episode put us in a, well, a bit of a pickle. Over in the West, we've lost Rotaka. Let's turn on all things. The Empire sent a fleet, and they've managed to take the world, and they're a jump away from what was a bit of a surprise. Yeah, there are four tech levels on this planet. <laughs> it's not good. We could lose all of these, and all of them are fairly substantial, you know, resource investments, so that we can unlock vehicles and ships and all of our gear. If you didn't see the beginning of the campaign, that's how we got all of our higher tech stuff. In an effort to finish our job over Thyfera so that we could respond to this, we hit Thyfera with everything we could muster in the zone, and to our dismay, their droids were anti-infantry, and they had enough of them. They managed to take us out. We're gonna have to leave here. I noticed a lot of you agreed to. Just pack up, Shaq. Abandon the planet for now. I know it was hard fought, but we have to go. This planet cannot... We have to stop that fleet. We've got to deal with this right now. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna put a ship into the fleet lead position and we're going to immediately head over hopefully before they make a move for Bakura. Uh and now it's just a race to see if we make it there before they do or not oh Calrissian can you deal with that corruption please removing corruption thank you sir uh while this is happening we do have ground troops being built ah, we should we should probably start we should probably invest in starships over here constructing unit I know Unit building corvettes. There is a subset of the community that hates me building corvettes, and I don't understand why they're fantastic units. Uh, let's go for... Uh, we need some more larger heavy hitters on this side. We need to put in for some capital ships. I could build an independence on Sullus Van. We could have another independence. Uh, honestly, I'd probably rather have... Let's see, an independence is a tactical cap of 14. Nope, no, nope. it's a tactical cap of six. No, population cap 62, tactical cap 14. Versus a Dauntless, which is a cap of eight. So it's it's just slightly cheaper. It's slightly more expensive to have two Dauntlesses. I'm going to have two Dauntlesses. Unit. I like having the mobility, having two ships that I can move around independently. All right, the fleet is en route. Let's take a look real fast before we get into the fight in the south at our construction efforts in oh there's the fleet at Kidonomoidia. How how big is our fleet now? Uh we don't have the capital ship capability. But they've only got one ISD and some freight we might be able to take that. Because we'd have the hmm we'd have the two X-Wing squadrons from the Liberty. We'd have the backer and destroyers. Uh I'm hmm and we can outmaneuver them. We've got a lot of interception, and we've got the free Eddy cruisers, which are hunter. Mm, the hunters really won't be super effective here. Is there anything we can pull in? You know, if we just moved, like, one ship... Turn that music down a little bit. If we just moved one ship into this fight, it might give us a better opportunity. Our our defense fleet over Quat is not great. Like, it's mostly Quasar and fighter focus. All right. I'm going to send out our Venator. You're the hero we need. They need a little bit more Moving firepower so they don't lose anything, I think. And we should be able to win that against the ISD. Push them off of Kato Moya before the ground troops land. 
Um, our Construction special complete. operations teams, they need to head to Bakra, I think, and reinforce that region just in case we do lose this next fight. I was actually quite impressed. Go! Quite Get impressed with the comments section of the last... Imminent. Okay, wait a minute. What? What? What, what, do, what do they have? What, what is this? What is this stack? I was impressed with the last comment section. Normally, if we have a, a loss, like a full proper battle that ends in a loss, I get a lot of really strangely angry comments. I'll win, you know, 25 battles prior, and then one battle comes up, we have a loss, and there's a lot of angry ones. That didn't happen last week. At your command. Armed and ready. Head full. I guess maybe people really understood, like, what I was trying to do there, rushing that ground invasion? I don't know. I don't know what the, what the big difference was there, but... All right, we're on the move with our headhunter using it as our point defense, or point defense, Choose our point man ship. Let's get, uh, oh boy. They have three ISDs here. Hmm. I'm not convinced we can win this. Order confirmed. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring in the capital ships. I'm gonna bring in the Y Wings and the Quasars, and we're gonna try to just we're gonna make this a raid. Everybody hold position. This is now turned into a raiding party. Moving to destination. Dropping the carriers. Moving out. Underway. Let's get some more point defense up front. Reinforcements canceled. Get a shield generator. Really stack everybody in. All Y Wings come this way. Squadron reporting. This fleet's a little bit stronger than I had anticipated. Get you guys organized. Organized U wings. I have two of you. Let's get one going with the Y wings, one going with the fighter capability. Going up here. Roger that. Our job is just going to be to do a little bit of damage here. Form up. Y wings standing by. Our reinforcement fleet. I don't think it's large enough to kill them. Not good. It's really not good. Oh man. Okay. All right, you guys are going to be my really oddball group one. I can't really wait around anymore. You guys are going to be my group two. Ready for action. Let's move that blockade runner out of that. Yes, sir. Underway. Moving into position. Burn it. Let's go. You got eyes on them. That's great. Let's run. Waiting order. I copy, sir. Guns at the ready. Bombers reporting in. Into the asteroids, please. Into Roger. the asteroids. Y wing here. All right, never mind. You got to dogfight that. You guys can't wait around. Copy. Target confirmed. Let me get all the A wings. Break off and engage that. Form up. Bombers Watch run. Fighters get in there. Ah, they're orders. gonna have to dogfight it. Get in the fight. Roger that. You guys get over here. Copy. If I told them to run, they would get absolutely wiped. Better to just fight it. Okay, now that we're in the fight, we get all the AO. The Y wings running into the asteroid belt. Run. Asteroid field ahead. Shields to double front. Okay, we're starting to exchange fire. They've got a vindicator in the front. Okay, and an Eddie in the uh, in the middle. Ah. There's too many of them. Changing course to All right, let's see if we can get some kills here. Torpedoes armed. If you've got torpedoes, you're to make your run now. It looks like they're still dogfighting, so I'm not going to pull them out, even though we can't see the ties. Stay on them. There you go. Reporting. There you go. We're making the run now. The shield generator is up. We may have to run from this. I'm going to have you kind of wrap around this way. And then the two of you run this way. We're just going for damage here. First starship is just about destroyed. Take down those shields. Oh, we're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. There it is. First ship is down. The shield is holding. All starships switch targets. We're losing fighters that are actually, you know, fleet cost. The shield is down. Uh, we're gonna have to run. Look at all those fighters. Dude, this is the toughest part. It's when do you leave? When do you run for it? You keep running. You keep running. 
This is your time. You can do this. The rest of you don't have a chance, but you can do this. We can kill a few of those those Corvettes. All right, the rest of you aren't doing half bad. We did drop our supplies. We're about to kill that victory. Uh, shields are kind of holding at the moment. I'm gonna have you guys start torpedoing. Let's get the artillery in the back. Now nah, we need to fight this. We can't risk leaving because they might actually attack the next world. All right, I got you MCs. I'm gonna push you guys through so you're not in range of their main weapon systems. And now we're gonna switch targets to this. All right, let's pause. We need X-Wings. We've already dealt with a huge number of TIE Interceptors coming from the... Oh, they, they was enough back there, huh? T coming from the Gazantes. So those should be dead. Sadly, it does mean that they managed to crack. It looks like the carrier point defense ship in the back. So we've lost that. Uh, the rest of the boys are fighting a few TIEs. We should have a... Oh, where yes, are my Y-Wings? I only have one Y-Wing left. Ow, oh, that sucks. Take down those yeah. shields. That's rough. Roger that. Need you to start wrapping your way around. We have every ship we're gonna have in this fight right now. And we have not taken down their shield generator. We are starting to get them to rotate, which is interesting. Let's get behind him and see if we can get him to turn around. All right, Quasars. It's up to you guys. Which is never something that you wanna hear. You guys are by my point defense in the back now. All right, the shield generator is back up and online, and the shields the are shield down in the middle. So let's start going after those shield generators and start knocking out their DPS. MCs, how are you doing? Do you have that recharge ability yet? No, damn. Yep, come around this way. I need you guys. Um, oh, lovely. We've got their, bro oh, their formation is broken. Yes, their formation is broken and they're moving around too much. So they only got their like port side. Yeah, both their port side guns are firing, but that's all they have. We might be able to pull this off if we keep knocking out all their port side weapons. Take out his engine so he can't turn around. We'll slow his maneuverability down. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. We're, we're deep shit here. I mean, it could be worse. It could be worse. Keep up with him. Would you be able to exchange, like, fire with him and, and win? I know, like, this isn't your thing, but... Do we have... We do actually have some MCs. Why don't you guys push through? Hard. Get in on that. And start lobbing missiles at him. Let's kill that ion boat. How are we doing back here? Uh, they did manage to just rotate, but we're also killing all their... <laughs> Fantastic. Rest of the fighters, engage this. X-Wings, how you doing? Stay on those ties. We're knocking out their damage. That other ISD is about to rotate. We need to start getting our formation ready for that. Come on, he's got a heavy ion cannon. Let's knock it out. Now remember, they're not completely out of the fight. When you take out their weapon systems, there are weapons that are just non-destructible. You can't take them down. All right. You're just lowering the overall damage. Um, and you can see that in the list. Everything in a bracket, I believe, are the ones that are built into the hull and you can't, yeah, you can't take out. Uh, but with that being said, that ISD is down. That ISD is down. All starfighters, all capital ships. Focus fire on the hull of the last ISD. Okay, that was spicy. That was fun. That was cool. The most exciting battles are the ones that you have no idea whether or not you're going to be able to pull off. If they hadn't broken up their formation and actually, like, chased a few random ships and cut their DPS in half by facing the wrong way, I think I would have been in deep trouble. Look at those ISDs. I think they would have ripped right through because our shield on one MC was failing. Yeah, his shield was already already down. And once their shield is down, I mean, it's... As Paxton once said, it's game over, man. falling back. They're falling back with what? Look at that rebel fleet. Gorgeous. <laughs> the exploding ISDs in the background. <laughs> oh, there it is. There was a lambda there. They had a they had a ground. Oh, right. They had ground troops. So in exchange for a neutron bulk carrier, the carrier variant, one MC thirty C frigate, which were kind of the hero ships of this battle. I feel like they were the reason the fleet broke their formation, and a handful a squadron if you will a wing maybe of y wings we took down three isds a victory a vindicator 
Here, I can six Gazantis. I wonder what took out the Gazantis. Like, what's the appropriate ship to counter small freighters? Like, probably gunships, I'd imagine. I imagine gunships could chase those down. We so really rarely build gunships. Um, okay, so we have alleviated the chance of a an attack on this world. Um, that being said, I am going to give you... I'm going to get you some more screeners. I want to have, like, a, a fleet capable... Get some, I want some anti-fighter capability. That's what I want. While you guys are building my anti, if it's big, it's dead, Dauntless class battleships, we'll get you a nice um, escort. Constructing unit. Escort force to go along with it. You know, I... Mm, unit canceled. Would I rather have quasars? No, I think we're good. I think we've got a good setup here. We should probably replace that MC-30, though. Those empty 30s were clutch. Okay, we still have another Imperial fleet here. We Oh, hello. What are you doing? Did you just pull your No. Corruption has oh, been Oh, oh no. I Morning. sent a Reporting. group of special operations teams, didn't I? Yeah, down here to reinforce one of these worlds. Oh, I wonder if we could use the ground forces on Baccarat to take that. Squadron reporting. It's got potential. All right, our continued siege of the Black Sun in the east needs to, well, it needs to continue. We need to take these other worlds. I want to drain them of their resources and completely surround Bandalore before we siege the world proper, which I'm guessing is going to take a number of raids to actually take. Hey, guys, um, those are the wrong kind of X-Wings. Uh, even to get to it, I'd have to row go the long way. Oh, you know what I could do, though? I could pick up our, our other artillery unit at Ward Montel. That has, that has options. Now, we lost Solo in the last one, and I wonder. Uh, Solo, get into orbit with the rest of our ground forces. We're going to go ahead and move the fleet. Reporting. We're going to go for Paulus. We're heading out. Complete. Yep. We're going to go Reporting. for Paulus. Uh, we're going to put X-Wings on the ground to defend this. We're going to leave Kyle. No, we're not. Kyle, come with me. Kyle, start spying on Mandalore. Let's go. We all know where this is going. We're after, we're going after Mandalore. Reporting. Wait, what do you mean they're researching hut cartels again? Didn't they are? Oh, tech. They're going up the tech Reporting. in hut cartels. Construction I, I need to play as the criminals. I want to get used to this new system. Imminent. All right, Paulus, what do we got? Well, we have the biggest fleet that the Alliance has mustered so far arriving in orbit, and I don't think they're ready for it here. We should be able to storm this. Okay. So I had some Copy. Moving out. pretty sad news, and I hope people in the community understand what happened this week. Actually, what happened last night. Um, I went to play some Star Wars Galaxies on the Restoration server, and it turns out I need a new security check. And what pops up when I try to log into my game is that because I have a multi-account household, my better half, uh, Tabby and Boots, who's been on many streams with me, also plays in the same household. So their security system, and I don't mind, I, I get it, multi-accounting can ruin a Star Wars Galaxy server. It hurts the economy, it hurts the gameplay in a lot of ways, but I'm not going to talk about that right now. That's a great video topic, actually to discuss on why it's such a bad thing. But their security system requires you to send a image of your real world ID. Now, I don't know if this is normal or, or a normal thing that happens on in, in, in other countries outside the United States. Um, I have never, ever sent what would be for me, for, for a US license, right? My ID would be my uh, well, my age, my height, my blood type, my address, my full name, right? It's a lot of information. And my driver's license identification number. Awaiting your orders. That is not a Proton small ask. And there's no way not not to play on a private server. That's I can't do it. Like that that goes beyond what I am willing to do. Um to unlock my account. You send my my personal information like that to a stranger. On the internet, <laughs> is, it, is it what it really comes down to? Uh, all right, we got two Dauntlesses, we got two carriers. We're gonna go with some point defense in the, the middle, liberation in the back for some fire support. 
I'm dropping out of hyperspace. Yeah. Reinforcements yeah. canceled. Uh, excuse me? Liberation's en route. There we go. Yes, Commander. Right away. Uh, and I hope people understand why. So, for right now, and I, I've asked the devs, they, they understand where I'm coming from, and I understand where Ready. they're coming from. Corvette, um, and it's just something that's it's inconsolable, or incon we, we can't come to, a, to like, terms with this. This is something that we, I just won't do. I can no longer recommend Star Wars Galaxy's Restoration um, as Confirmed a server that complying. I think people should play on until they find a better way to handle their security checks for multi-accounts. So that's just, you know, it... <sighs> I can't recommend something to other people that I'm not willing to do myself, if that makes any sense. I do wish them the best, though. I am sad that it, this happened. It's, it's, a, bit, it's a bummer. Like, I want to play on there, for sure. But I'm not going to send my personal information. And there was an offer of, like, well, you know, check, we can just green light you. We've located the enemy. Um, because we know you're not, you know, cheating or anything like that. You're not going to be multi-accounting like that. Like, well... I'm still not gonna have other people. This is a carrier, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's a Kirlian carrier. Let's bring this up. Confirmed. Uh, what do you. I should probably have read what it has. Launch your fighters! If I'm not willing to do something, I'm not gonna have. recommend that other people do it. The Lawbringer. What a good name for a carrier. Endurance carrier. Yes. All right. That, Let's bring out. this in in a tight formation. I want to overwhelm this thing in firepower. We're well, going to go when we arrive. right off of its starboard side. Um, we're going to just wreck that space station and everything in the middle of it. Starfighters, uh, get ready for the spice. You know what? Oh, you know what? Don't worry about it. I was thinking, oh, I'll bring in a defense shield. Canceled. Don't worry about it because it doesn't matter because they're going to shoot through it anyways. That's why we need to get this done Ready with quick and in a hurry. We can't sit here and be sieging it because they are sniping our dual heavy close range turbo ion cannons at the moment. Let's go. In. in happier Star Wars news, I got to see some teaser images of Republic at War's C95, ship sir. designs. That's right. That mod is back in production. If you didn't know the OG Clone Wars mod and they are gorgeous from the venator to the acclimator oh my god it's so good looking the arquintons particularly they're gonna have two different types they're gonna have a carrier variant with a little carrier bay on the bottom ah it looks so good all right we're taking a lot of torpedoes here we need to start moving in i'm a little concerned that the no we're gonna pull their fleet away and the other dauntless is already opening up so this is gonna be just a broadside of destruction roger that Let's go ahead and engage those fighters. Uh, it is time, my little group here. I want you to go after their point defense. I'm gonna make you guys group one and have you engage. Take him down quick. All right, that's the first capital ship destruction. Look at this formation, it's so good. Like all the tanky ships are literally shielding the liberation. Oh, that's cool. Uh, all right, Dauntless is, because of your close range and your uber damage, let's see if you can just kill their anti-fighter support. How are you doing? Do I need to rotate you? Yeah, I think it's time. Everyone rotate. Take out the support ships. Except for you guys. You guys are hunter killers. So hunt and kill. Oh, time to use your engines. Go run! Ooh, what's what's debuffing you? Ion, maybe? If you know what's debuffing that Corvette, let me know. Uh, Liberation? Yes, give him the beam cannon. Oh, let's light our names on the hull. Run this way. Alright. Look at the huts. So the huts are going up in technology, so we're going to see larger, larger hut ships. God, I think their ships are gorgeous. So good looking. Well, I mean, it was. Reporting in. All batteries. Open fire. All right, everybody switch targets. The Liberation and it's managed to destroy it. Whoop. Hello. Reacquire target. Coming over. Starboard side. Target's coming in fast. Oh, and it popped. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. 
There's also an update coming out for X4 Interworlds, which is the Star Wars mod to go with the new expansion. Excited for that. Uh, we're taking a surprising amount of fire on this side. And can I get all Z95s chasing those ships? Thank you. We should not be dealing with this many. I assume they're going to run as soon as that star, star base has been destroyed. Damn, look at the liberation. Shields are already down. It's starting to hit. Yeah, right around. They're running. Stop scratching the paint. It's so hard to find replacement parts for this thing. Ah, it's good coffee. He didn't make it. Yeah, I wonder. You normally see the debuff when you have, like, black in the area. And it's for fighters. But that's a Corellian Corvette. I wonder what dropped its, de its defenses. IPV reporting. So, the world is now in... Not in our control, but we do have it controlled by orbit. So, let's... Let's hit it. Gathamir, how you doing on ground force? Beginning construction. Uh, you know what? Building cancelled. Turbo lasers have not helped us hold you. And you only have three spots. Let's go with a shield generator. And we're going to leave the rest of the troops here. Did we ever get... Those are the light vehicles. We were building. What happened to all that air power we were making? Still under production. Yeah, not even close to being ready yet. All right, so, oh, damn it. What, look at this. So what that means is we can't make it through with our fleet. Reporting. I'm going to have to break the fleet up. Reporting. It's just a, yes. How many starships Awaiting do we have back here? Command. Four. Let's go. We have to break through. Tactical battle. Imminent. Begin the battle. This week, we've got a Star Trek RTS coming out. RT 4X, but it's just, what it looks like is that it's just built on top of Stellaris. I was watching some of the new content that they put out for it, and it really does just look like Stellaris with only four factions. I'll be right there. Which is a bit of a bummer. I'm still going to check it out. So keep an eye out on, uh, on the channel for more, you know, content about it just to see what it's like. For everybody else, though, like, if you don't run a YouTube channel, I don't recommend you pick it up until you get some reviews in. Because there's already wonderful mods to play that are Star Trek-based. This should be one of their artillery platforms, if I'm not mistaken. I'm fairly certain even these Z-95s might be able to take this out. Or get it to run. We've got them on the run. Yeah, there they go. We're, going in full throttle. We're still going to try to find him. Nah, he's going to run. Path is clear. The patrols have checked it out. We can bring the logistics in now. Pause before they move in again. Just looking at our ground force. Do we really not have? Hey, Kashik, what are you building right now? You you are making me those ground. Yes. Um, I love the idea of having like an airborne unit where they've got a bunch of X wings backing them up. And then we have the drop vehicles for infantry. We're already trying building the drop vehicles. It should hold two squads per. So three of these, and they're really low tactical cap. They're only a one point. And they've got fire support. Their weapons are not bad. I just think we haven't done it in bulk. Large enough bulk to pull it off. We should also get a shield generator here. Kashyyyk, you, you definitely need that. Hey, Von Kala, um, you should always be building capital ships. And what we could use is Unit another set of projection. Yeah, we need projection shields. That worked so well during that last battle, chasing them off. All right, ground forces are on the way. Scipio, I'm going to grab your heavy armor, your Wookiees, and your rockets. Those Wookiees have been sitting around for far too long. I'm going to leave the artillery at Dathomir in the hopes it'll help me defend it. I'll even put a station here. Let's grab... Um, the independent, yeah, let's grab this capital ship, one U-wing, 
Like half the stack of X-Wings. One of the scouts. Half of the B-Wings. Two A-Wings. Blockade the other side. Do I want to pull anybody from Iridonia? Now would be the time. I think we're I think we're okay. Especially with the heavy armor that I've moved over here now. Now we've got three units. We're gonna go in with the heaviest. Destroyer reporting in. St what? What, uh, what? what did I build that has the Star Destroyer sound cue? Star Destroyer reporting in. Oh no, it's just Chewy! Oh no! Oh. Uh, man. Okay, no, that's fine. Let's bring in an officer. It's just Chewy! Just solo didn't right make away. it. <laughs> oh, it feels bad, man. Sir, our field commander yeah, has this is gonna be a heavy armor. Oh, yeah, an armored focused attack force. And then we're gonna use rockets to take out the infantry. And the only reason I brought in the officer is to have scouts. To see what they have so we know where to strike. We're gonna blitzkrieg across this. There they are. Bookies! Let's move. What are we what are we finding? Squadron, move out. Okay, so we've got militia. Dwellings. We can probably take out this proton torpedo turret before it comes online. Reporting. Come on, focus it down. This is your time. Let's go. Oh boy. All right, rockets. You live in the back as Group One now. What are we looking at? Oh, did you take it out? I can't tell if you took it out. So this is just a landing zone. Are those droids? Oh, you know what? No, I don't think that's the way it works, but I could be wrong. I wonder how well the ions will work against the large droid walkers. Hello, Mr. Tank. How would you like to be stolen? Up, oh, kill it, kill it with fire. That's a bunker turret. We're rerouting. Team. We're rerouting all arbor. Why don't you guys push it across here? We can kill this before it has a chance to, you know, turn on us. Yeah, yeah, he's like, don't worry, boys, I've got this. What I really want you to do is focus on the. Excuse me, what are they? Oh, they're the penguin guys. I know chat's told me this before, but what the hell are the penguin guys from? It's gotta be like a comic, right? The Pingani Warriors. Attack tank ready. Never change, Star Wars, you're hilarious. <laughs> change for no one. Okay, there's our real problems. That's why I wanted to go armor. Let's take a right nice wide arcing path. This sweat's not good. Out. Yep, Ball we found out. some AA. Group one, it's time to retreat. You've done what we all knew you were going to do, and that was run in on your own. Though you are kind of obliterating penguins left and right. It was after the attack on Polis that the Penguin Accords were established so that never a slaughter of Penguin kind would be happening again. <laughs> yeah, officer fallback. We don't need to lose you. Let's bring that artillery back. Now you just show it off driving backwards. Need that heavy guns. We need something that can pierce the, the skin of this thing. Yep, that's right. We went from Star Wars to Mech Warrior. Oh man, could you imagine a Mech Warrior total conversion for Empire at War? That would actually work. Wouldn't work too terribly because you could take over planets and, like set up Mech factories and stuff. I could see that working. Golden locusts and um, 
<laughs> yeah, that would be pretty cool. There's a new mech warrior coming out that was just announced. Uh, yeah, let's get some more fire on the pirate soldiers in the back. Hey, heavies. I'm fairly certain we lost the anti-air because it rushed forward and I didn't micro it. Let's see. I see some smoking tanks there. Anti-air. No, that's a light tank. No, one of our anti-air is still up. As long as we don't lose them both. So the rockets are wonderful anti-infantry, surprisingly. I guess they're, um... Oh, shit. Yeah, kill that and we can bring in the Ewing. Is this a torpedo? Can't tell. I think it is, though. I'm gonna bring in the Ewing anyways. All right, bring it in now. See if we can shut down that torpedo launcher. Let's get the rest of the armor in. I know you guys are having some issues. Antina's almost been destroyed. Rockets here. Chewie, I'm sorry we haven't stole you a vehicle. I feel like that's on me. There's the main structure we're looking for. Ooh, 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 ooh. Target that. Target that. That's a proton torpedo turret. We can shut that down. Rest of the armor. Keep pressing. I want you all focusing on that. King armor blitz. An armored blitz. It's not bad if you micro... Oh, wow, look at that. All right. Fire all the rockets! As the salvos come in. Nice! And suddenly, three squads of infantry just disappear. Sort of. We're still working on it. Please hold. All right, all heavies. Focus your fire on their HQ. Those heavy, those deep mechs. <laughs> they don't have the big mechs though. We got more penguins coming from the rear. Rockets, I believe in you. Uh, I'm kind of here for this. I think this is a decent way to make this work. Even my poor little mortar guy is alive and well, firing off. Boom. Always makes me think of Company Heroes when I see him. We have a bombing run ready to go. Uh, I'm just going to use it to take out the last structure and maybe wrap up this invasion. That's probably going to be it. The only unit that I think this group needs potentially is some Solistans. Yeah. They need like a, they need a mobile repair vehicle. There is one actually in the FFG engineering book. There is a refitted, I want to say it's a T3B, but they took off the cannon and it's been replaced in the rocket pack and it's been replaced with a crane. A crane and like a plow in the front. Which is pretty cool. And you can use it to repair other vehicles and whatnot. It gives like bonuses to repair attempts. Uh, this does put us in a weird spot. The enemy has not surrendered, so they still have units somewhere. I'll send the U-Wing out to investigate. Uh, we do have two spots open, which is never a good sign. So the main force is pretty healthy for all things considered. Uh, Ewing, the only thing that you've spotted, there's that bunker right there. Do they just own it or did they actually put troops in it? Let's go identify. Uh, they just own it. They didn't put anything in it. Though we do now have a site. Hello, weak way pirates. At least certain the lesson here is don't be a pirate. And don't be a bunker with the wrong paint job. We've got your back. Alright, we're moving out. Group one, because I know exactly what you're gonna do. You run up here, because Ah! The light tank has the same problem. Brutal. What's wrong with you? Those penguins were retreating. What's wrong with you? I like the snow color though. I think that's the best the best um paint job for that tank. Might be just the White. Alright, the world is back under our control. Or is just under our control. I don't know if we do we have a pause. We may have. Constructing. Let's dig in. Oh, this is this. Look at this. We were barely 
Wait a minute, what is this? Greater right? Reinforcements. Oh, hey guys! Please hit it just at the right Tactical time when the ground troops arrive. Imminent. How are you guys doing? So an independence has arrived, the Phoenix, with its escort fighters, and they got Xan back. Now sadly, we are gonna come in as one big group, so I'm not gonna be able to hyperspace choose. That's all right. Begin the battle. I, a while back, somebody suggested that I do a campaign where I'm not allowed to use the Pathfinder spot, meaning I'll never know exactly what will drop out of hyperspace for an attack, meaning every battle will be kind of like up in the air. All right, we're going for engines. I don't want to make sure they don't run. Hey, Wings, everybody else, go ahead and form up with the Phoenix. The sister ship to home one. It's, a, it's an interesting idea, because there's definitely a lot of fun to be had when you don't know if you can win the battle. Though it might get a little samey, because I wonder, if you take the same fleet and you keep having it attack without having a Pathfinder spot, does it randomly choose the starships that arrive, or does it always choose the same ones based on something like their position in the grid in the fleet selection? I don't actually know. I've never tried it. Hmm. Roger that. Plotting course. All right, we know there's a Providence here. And while there are heroes, heroes, there are hey, leadership oh, members back. of the Black Sun. Our job here is to take that Providence down. So these X-Wings are on a mission. Warm up. We're actually gonna break in off room. a little bit. I wanna come in from the side. Our mission is to target and proton down their hyperdrive. Order received. Proceeding. The enemy is approaching. I don't want that thing to run. Squadron, move out. Right away. Now I kind of wish I had. Actually, I might be in range. Rock Where is back. you? You're going to be my group too? I need a... Oh, yeah, you're out of range. Awaiting orders. Alright, cutting in. Moving out. Because it'll probably take us two cycles of torpedoes to actually damage this thing. Oh, whoa, camera freak out. Not the time. Not the time when they're Copy. about to be completely outnumbered. Heading out. Fall out. Let's move out. Their escort's too Let's far go. back. Keep going. I mean, I'll happily kill a bunch of R41s. Go ahead and engage those R41s. Y wing, stand you by. Drop a pin. Oh, we can see it. I copy. Holy crap! Your orders? Break, 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 break. Your sensors are in range. You don't need to be that Responding. close. Run. Reporting. Attack formation. I can't run with these guys chasing us. Let's go. All right. You're good to go. Form up. The order has been given. You know what? How tanky are these ridiculous Gatling? Uh, medium armor, 3,500. You're the appropriate target. B -wings here, but B-Wings, I want you going after the engines of that ship. Everybody else. Wait, how many B-Wings? We have three squadrons of B-Wings. No joke. Break to point three five, then follow me. Go for the shield generator. A-Wings, your job. Simple job. Open fire. Kill everything that's in the air that isn't you. Yes, sir. Confirmed. Ion cannons are the target. Do our job. Doggers. Kill their leadership. Fire. Let's engage the fight. Yes, I need a single axe wing squadron to break Ready. off and get these guys off our tail. <laughs> Flew them way too far back. Stop. <laughs> it's really not good for me. <laughs> not to mention this thing has protons like out the wazoo. They're also bombing the hell out of me right now. Order. After those bombers. All right, we gotta switch targets. We gotta kill this. Bombers at the ready. Squadron reporting. Its engines still aren't down. All right, I need a little bit of fire Direct since he's fire he's flashing you. 
Put the fire into that engine just for a second. We just want to make sure he doesn't leave. How much damage do they do to you? There you go. Get your get your starboard side aim in the right direction or something. All right. We're still taking out. We're still taking out fighters over there. T95s, X-wings. There he goes. Okay. We're starting to knock out that amateur damage that they're doing. Guys are making me real nervous here. Uh, actually, yeah, the launch base wouldn't be bad, but I'd rather you take out the proton torpedoes. We got to stop them from getting through the shield. I'm in range. Are we done? Okay. Already dropped the supplies. I need a group of X-wings. Go after the Z-95s. Clear them out. Ready for command. Birds. So it's Providence v Independence in a broadside fight. He did have support. We got this. We're looking good. We're looking good. One more capital ship we don't have to worry about when we make the invasion of Mandalore. As the A-Wings are flying over the top of the Phoenix. Ready. Attacking target. How we doing? Focus on the hull. They still have actually one extra ship that could run. Let's go after him. We'll go after the Arson. That's the name of the ship. <laughs> That's a good pirate ship name. Once that thing detonates, there you are. Go ahead and engage. A wings, keep up on the R41s. Yes, Attack. Man, these Providences have a ton of health. I'm on them. Like they're heavy armor and they've got 14,000 health. That is half of my largest capital ship that isn't a Super Star Destroyer. And I bet they cost maybe, what, half of what the Independence costs, if not even less? They're falling back. If they had two of these, I bet they could have won that fight. There it is. Full wipe, too. They didn't manage to escape. And that should have us, what, completely surrounding them beyond everything but the wheel? Yep. Everything but the wheel is under our control. And... Oh. Oh. How bad is Mandalore, right? Are those... What? <laughs> Excuse me? Why? <laughs> Why are there human civilians in orbit? <laughs> uh, I like the description, too. A-O-T-R underscore composition underscore human. With a Galactic Empire description. Weird. All right. Um, We should send Kyle. It might be time to hit Mandalore. Because Kyle... Tactical battle what? Imminent. Oh, hey y'all, how you doing? How's it going? They had mere seconds before Dathomir was attacked by enemy ground troops. I beat them by, what, three seconds, two seconds? I unpaused it, it was immediate. I don't think there's a chance that we're gonna catch up to those shuttles. Like even if we go full burn. Give the order right away. Get the A X the A wings out and tell them to gun it across the map. Independence, go ahead and go for it. Bombers reporting in. Like anybody who can go, go. At your best speed. Roger that. I don't think we're gonna make it in time, but we have chased them off, which is nice. Form up. Oh no! Go for it. Run, run, Luke, run. We got them on the run. Yeah, they're running. All right, not surprising. At least we didn't have to deal with the ground invasion. So I want to send Kyle to the wheel to see what is over there. I'm a little worried they're going to try. Where is Kyle? He was over death me, right? No. Oh, he's over Mandalore spying right now. Perfect. Perfect. We know what Mandalore, oh yeah, what was Mandalore's ground force looking like? Oh, wow, that is a lot. That is a lot of CLLs. At least they're not the trash compactors, though. That's good. We should be able to take these out with a armored group. 
Or or we could doomstack X-Wings. <laughs> air support for the win. The first invasion of our airborne unit. Corruption has been removed. Ends up being like... Ends up being Mandalore. Yeah, you got your new unit? You're cutting your teeth on Mandalore. Good luck. What are we looking like? Yeah, their fleet's here now. Their last fleet in the region is here. And the only capital ship is the Venator. Yeah. Oh, well, that and the battle cruiser. 14,000, but medium armor. So it has the same health as a Providence, but it has medium instead of heavy armor. Intriguing. I think they're also like twice the speed. They're more maneuverable. Anywho, I look forward to reading what your comments, but I think we're all in agreement. Like, don't go for the wheel. Break Mandalore now. Our local force, by the way, we could group up together, is the Home One Fleet, which is fairly fighter heavy, eight squadrons. It is missing its quasars. Those are not too far away over at Dathomir. We just need to figure out what our staging point is gonna be and what fleets to move together and then hit them. The Liberation Fleet, I mean, I think the Liberation Fleet could do it just fine. Stick the Liberation in here and then hit them. Break the orbit, then we can take the ground whenever we feel like it. Oh, oh no, they've, oh, because they retreated. Yeah, that's right. So those ground forces just moved back here. Yeah, I look forward to reading your guys' comments. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Later, everybody.